Vishnu is the god of wealth because he is also the husband of Lakshmi. He is the one who is responsible for creating matter and without him there is no money or, or material existence. Everything that is associated with uh, creation belongs to Maya and that is uh, Vishnu. There are special time, astronomically significant time, when Vishnu's energy becomes available, when he gives blessings to people. He descends into the earth plane. It's very, very rare uh, phenomenon that occurs. The yogis and siddhas look forward uh, to a very auspicious time like this. Now, Vishnu is the lord of the earth plane. He is totally in charge of creating matter, which is car, home, luxury, all these things are associated with Vishnu. So what do you do uh, during that time? You can create that energy within your own consciousness uh, on that day. How to create the Vishnu's energy, the Vishnu's space, Vishnu's time? Because in the understanding of the yogis, space and time could be created by sound waves because after all, according to the Vedic uh, system, space is not empty. Space is just sound waves and, uh, and space is time also. That's why if you develop a contact with him, then you will grow in prosperity. In the Bhagavad Gita, there is a very important teaching about uh, uh, prosperity. Krishna, who is Pama uh, Krishna, tells uh, Arjuna about the secret of prosperity. He says, so you have to feed the gods. If you feed the gods, then they are obligated to you to give back uh, in return of your offering of food to them, abundance, abundant wealth. These deities or gods and goddesses do exist. But once you have satisfied them with uh, offerings, they will come and give you abundance. That's why I'm very particular about uh, promoting Fire labs. Fire labs uh, are means through which you can communicate with the divine and send your offerings to them. I want you to take uh, advantage of this very precious time.